Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to another episode of Movie and Stitch. So, for this Movie and Stitch episode, I'm going to be talking about the movie that I watched that began with the letter Q. I'm also going to show the project that I've been working on during this collaboration that I'm doing uh, and show you my progress on that. And then I'm also going to tell you what I'm going to be watching for my R movie. <laughs> okay, so for the Q movie that I watched, I watched The Quiet Man. Um, I love that movie. Um, it's it's I've seen it many many times but it had been a long time since I had seen it uh, and so when when the letter Q was coming up I knew that that's the one I wanted to watch and do a review on okay so the quiet man was uh, it stars John Wayne of course uh, let me get to the listing of actors um, okay so it has John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara in fact, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara was they um, they made a lot of movies together, quite a few. Uh, so I had John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, uh, Barry Fitzgerald, which is such a cute character actor. I love him. He uh, he was in he played the priest in uh, Going My Way with Bing, Co Bing Crosby. If you ever saw that, um, he's just a funny actor. Uh, Ward Bond. He's in a lot of John Wayne movies. Also, he great friends with John Wayne. Um, Victor McLaughlin. I've seen him in several movies. Um, there's so many of these actors I recognized. Uh, Mildred Natwick, I recognized her. Uh, so anyway, it was, like I said, it was made in 1952. Let me read the IMDB description of the movie or the storyline. It says, Sean Thornton, and that was uh, John Wayne's character. He, it says, Sean Thornton has returned from America to reclaim his homestead and escaped his, escape his past. Sean's eye is caught by Mary Kate Danaher, a beautiful but poor maiden. And, of course, that is Mar uh, Maureen O'Hara's part. And she was a younger, her character is a younger sister of ill-tempered Will Danaher. The riotous relationship that forms between Sh Sean and Mary Kate, punctuated by Will's attempts to keep them apart, form the main plot with Sean's past as the dark undercurrent. So, uh, I'm reading under the trivia, it says that this was John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara's. They both said that this was their most favorite film that they ever made. Um, Maureen O'Hara was 31 when she made this movie, and John Wayne was like 45, so he was quite a bit older than her. <laughs> um, the the outside filming was all done in Ireland. I think this was the first movie that was made by Republic Studios that was actually not in the United States, that it was overseas, that it, it, um, made and uh, of course all the sound stage I mean all the indoor shots were a sound stage in California <laughs> but all the the outside was actually was in Ireland where they filmed uh, the whole cast flew over to Ireland to make the movie and John Wayne in fact took his whole family over there because they were gonna be there for like three months or something and so um, in fact um, at that time, John Wayne had four children. I believe that was all the children he had at that time because he had more later. <laughs> but at that time, he had the four children, and all four of his children were in the movie. Um, and if you've seen the movie, then you know that it's right before the horse race, and Maureen O'Hara is sitting, like, on a rail fence, and there's four children that are, like, standing around with her, and those four children, they're, like, preteens and teenagers they were John Wayne's actual children um, also Maureen O'Hara had two brothers that were played parts in the movie um, and then the movie was directed by John Ford and John Ford's brother was in the movie played a part and then uh, Barry Fitzgerald who was the little short guy I told you he, he played Micheline 
Flynn, I think that was his name in the movie. Anyway, his brother was also in the movie playing another part. So it seemed like it was kind of a family affair. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just love this movie. It it um, holds special memories to me also because my it was a favorite of my dad's. I remember he always talked about this one scene. He always talked about that scene and how he thought it was so funny. And uh, so every time I see that particular scene in the movie, I always think it makes me think of my dad uh, because he just loved that part. <laughs> yeah, is a part where where uh, this old, uh, very elderly man. In fact, it was John Ford's brother who played the part. Um, he was like on his deathbed, and the priest is giving him like his last rites, and there's women crying and praying and stuff gathered around him and then he hears uh the ruckus that was going on outside which was a big fight that that took place okay and he got so excited about the big fight that he jumped up out of his deathbed and jumped up and ran out <laughs> to watch the fight and and i remember my dad thought that was so funny <laughs> but anyway i really love this movie if you get a chance to see this movie uh i would definitely try to see it. I believe it is on Amazon right now. I'm looking. I saw it on Amazon. Now, I have it on DVD, but I actually saw it on, on Amazon. Um, so, I would definitely check it out because it's not a western when a lot of people think when when they think of john wayne movies they think of westerns but it's not a western it's just a great movie um i just i just really like it it's funny it's got funny parts and it's um a romance and it's and then, then there's some action parts you know it's just it's just a really it's a really good movie. It's really good. <laughs> so uh, I will link it down below in the description box if I can link to a link in Amazon. <laughs> but anyway, like, like I said, it is on Amazon for free. Well, if you have Amazon Prime, you can see it for free on there. Okay, so what did I do as far as my blanket? Okay, so as a reminder, you know that I'm working on a granny stitch rectangular blanket or throw Um and, and I'm picking out four colors for each movie that would remind me of that movie and doing one stripe per color, okay? And then I'm dividing these sections by a row of single crochets in this charcoal gray to divide up the movies. And so let me show you how big it is already, or this so far. This is from letter A all the way, whoop, <laughs> including Q. So there you go. I'm really liking the way it's coming out. So, um, let me pull up, get up here closer, and then I will talk about the colors that I used. Okay, so here is the the section for the Quiet Man. This one down here, this colorful one, that was from my P movie, which was Pinocchio. Okay, so this one right here is for Quiet Man. Okay, so I picked out this red. Let me see, that's red. It's a bur kind of a burgundy, and uh, I, it probably should have been more of this color red, but but that's just the red that I happened to grab, so that's what I used. Um, that signifies uh, Maureen O'Hara's character, who has red hair, but also in the first scene that you see her, she's wearing an outfit that's with a red skirt. And so I was thinking, well, that can signify both of that, both of those aspects. <laughs> and then the blue, kind of dark navy blue, sort of navy, <laughs> and then this gray, that signifies their outfits because the majority of the people in the movie, all their clothes seem like they wore a lot of gray or like gray tweed or gray and black or gray and navy blue uh, and so I put those two colors in there because that just seems like that's what the clothes were mo the majority of the clothes that people were wearing in the movie and then of course green because of Ireland <laughs> so there you go so um, that is what I used and of course this is all just scraps I think the majority of that probably was Red Heart Super Saver or something so I washed a wet yarn I'm using a I want to say, and I forget, I think it's an I hook. It's I or J, I don't know. I've been using the same hook for the whole entire um, 
project. So there is my project. It's really going to be such a nice cozy size I think still got a ways to go I got from R to Z so we're getting there um, so that is my project that I've worked on and I talked about my Q movie so now I'm going to talk about the R movie okay so the next movie that I'm going to be watching that starts with the letter R I was thinking I, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do I really like the movie Return to Me uh, if you like roman romance movies uh, check that out I believe you can even see it on YouTube it, it says free with ads but you can see it on YouTube it's called return to me um, it's sad just in the very beginning and then it gets good after that and it's there's funny parts and there's romantic parts I just really love that movie in fact I may go ahead and watch it <laughs> but the one I'm gonna do to pick the uh, color you know the to pick colors from to do for my project will be can you see them my little mice back there <laughs> I'm gonna be watching the rescuers <laughs> it's on Disney Plus I haven't watched it in a long time and so I think I'm gonna watch that and more than likely the colors I'm gonna be picking out will be two colors sign symbol symbolizing Bernard and two colors symbolizing B Bianca <laughs> so anyway that's the R movie I'm gonna be watching and I will come back in two weeks from today and give you my review on it and show you the colors and and the the new progress that I will have on that blanket. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I just got finished filming my vlogist day twenty, whatever today is <laughs> twenty five. <laughs> I just finished that. So now I've got this video and that video to go edit and get it posted up before my grandbaby comes over. So uh, I'm gonna go. Come back tomorrow. We'll do vlogus day 26, and also it'll be time for another episode of Yarn Joy podcast, and I'll show you the other things that I've been working on. Okay, see you later, guys. See you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.